Ricky and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road, but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. What have you found? Mid-September and the searing heat of summer has abated. It's cooler and there have been days of rain that nourish the earth. It's time to pick the last of the tomatoes and peppers. Time to start planning the winter crops. We spend days in the garden, weeding, cleaning and planning. I pick the last sweet yellow vine tomatoes, which we can eat like candy, sprinkled on salads and sauces. Eh, amore, volevo dirti che in uno dei commenti che ho letto recentemente qualcuno si, si è diciamo un po' lamentato che Positano non è proprio così come la facciamo vedere noi. È venuto qua e ha trovato... Ma c'era troppo gente in giro, no? non è rimasto contento dicendo io non verrò più a Positano. Sì, posso capire questo, ma penso che ci sono molte versioni di Positano. Yes. Our Positano that you and me live is very different from the Positano that a day tripper who arrives on a ferry yes. would discover. It's completely different. Um, and I think if you're here for one day, you probably don't get a great idea of what Positano is like. It's difficult in one day, yes. especially in July and August when it's crowded. And Is it true? I understand really that, busy. but I think uh, mostly people come here and just stay a couple of hours. It's impossible no. to understand no. Positano. No. If you think about it, what, the, what is the real Positano? It depends whether you live here, how old you are, whether you have family, because the Positano that I experience now with you, with Sky, with the dogs, It's very, very different from the Positano I experienced when I was 21, 24, 25, and single and free. That was very different. I went out every night. There was parties, there was dinners. It was very different. It's not the same. When I was a child, playing on the beach all day, staying in a hotel, it's not the same as living in a house and doing the shopping and taking the kids to school. Yes, living in a place and go from holiday in a place is very different. No. Vero il fatto che adesso la gente si muove di più di una volta perché si può fare, mentre prima lo facevano solo le persone più ricche. Questa, sì, 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 è questo è, una, è tutto vero. È una differenza incredibile tra le persone che venivano qui quando Positano è stata scoperta negli anni 50. In the 80s and 90s is where families came for holiday, yeah? yeah? yeah. And this now is it's true. not. It's, no. it's weddings, couples, honeymoon. And then very young people. Another truth is Positano is too small for thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. 
it's not it's changed over the years about this comment i want to say um, my experience your experience is very different to experience the people coming here just for a holiday just for a couple of days it will always of be course. different i think the problem is that a lot of people who come here for a short amount of time stay on the beach on the main beach and the little alleyway that goes up to the road which gets very very crowded and congested and that's not what residents do people who live here don't live on the beach we have other parts of town that we go to and we know what time it gets busy so we stay away at the busy times for example at 12 midday when three or four ferries come in all at the same time and it's crowded we know to stay away. If you're looking to see a video of people on holiday in Positano, that's not us because we live here. We're not on holiday here. For example, this is our, my first day at the beach today and it's the 22nd of September. No, thank you. <laughs> Siamo qui da Ferdinando. E lui è? Ferdinando, piacere. Ferdinando. This is one of our favorite places to come for lunch. And this is weirdly my first time here this year. We've been coming here since before Sky was born. In fact, when Sky was a little baby, we used to get two of these and put them like this, put a towel down, and then she'd sleep there. Allora, abbiamo avuto un ottimo uh, pranzo qui. Frittura di calamari. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> so today we have learned a lesson. Wide-legged trousers are no good when you're climbing up lots and lots of steps because your feet can get caught in the other leg and you'll fall over. And wide-legged trousers are also not good for playing with your dog on the beach because time again, my foot got caught in there as I was running and I just went straight down. Um, I think I'm okay. I'm okay. glad you are okay. Yeah, it was just the shock of falling, but yeah. So what we were trying to say before was that our lives here are of course completely different from what most visitors to Positano will experience. We do the usual daily things that everybody does when not on vacation. We clean, we cook, we garden, we go out to do errands around town, the post office, fishmongers and grocery store. We don't often visit the beach, but if we do, we generally avoid the weekends and mid July and August. And we go to the lesser known beaches such as Fornillo, Arienzo, La Porta. We do our grocery shopping in the little stores higher up in town, or sometimes we'll go to a supermarket in Sorrento. We walk or use the scooter to get around, avoiding the buses and traffic jams. This summer of 2022 has been the busiest year ever in Positano. The town has been at maximum capacity since spring. The restaurants have queues outside the doors, the ice cream stands too.
Quale dito stai usando? Scusa, non ho capito bene. Ok. All the people who had to cancel vacations in the last two years are visiting this year, making it much busier than usual. We don't know if next year it will be less busy or if this is the new normal. All I can suggest for those wanting to avoid the crowds is this. Avoid midsummer, avoid Italian public holidays and avoid day trips on weekends. Vuoi dire dove siamo, Nicola? Ho già detto. We're taking an afternoon dog walk on the path of the gods, because we can. <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, just perfect weather. It's, there's a slight chill in the air, which I'll probably be cold later, but oh, it's just beautiful after all that heat of the summer. Ah, oh, it feels lovely. Yeah, I'm angry. Come here. Abbiamo passato tutta l'estate sognando di venire a fare una passeggiata perché era sognando perché non lo potevamo fare, era troppo caldo. Magari non è vero che non lo potevamo fare, non abbiamo voluto farlo. Adesso lo facciamo che è bello. For me. Don't leave me alone. I'm scared. The Path of the Gods is a bucket list must for many visitors here. Nowadays it's pretty busy most of the day with a constant stream of hikers. We tend to avoid it, choosing lesser known hiking routes, but every now and again we like to take a walk there. We choose to go about an hour before the sun sets. It's much quieter then and we get to see the golden hour over the peninsula. Sembrano wow. tutti piccoli trulli. Years ago, all of these little piles of stones appeared here. Nobody seems to know who did it, or whether it was one person or maybe more people, but they were just all here all of a sudden, and they stayed here. I think people probably add to them nowadays, but who knows who started it? Most hikers choose to get up early in the morning, catch a bus to Amalfi, then another to Bormorano where the path officially starts. They hike back to Positano, arriving just in time for lunch. This is the best way to experience the path if you've never done it before. The sun is behind you, lighting up the stunning view before you, and the lure of a good lunch keeps you going. This is a disclaimer. <laughs> the next little bit of video is just a little skit that we filmed. We do not mean to offend or upset anybody. This is not aimed at anybody. It's just our take on what could go wrong when you arrive in Positano by ferry without being prepared or without knowing anything about the town. These are all things that we have actually seen happen over the years and uh, we just thought it'd be funny to put it together into a little skit but we really really mean no offence it's just meant to be a little bit of light-hearted comedy and afterwards I'm going to tell you about an experience that we had uh, being in the same position as this couple that you're just about to see. I don't get it. I watched under the 
cussed and sun. She, she got a lift from there. Why do I have to walk? We need to find the centre of town. Yes. Please. And I'm sure that there's a way to do it without steps. I, I think this way. Yeah, some people are going that way, but they're probably wrong, so we'll go this way. Maybe this is the centre? But I see lots of people going up the steps there. Maybe we're doing it wrong. Maybe that's where the centre is. Maybe we need to go back down again. Let's turn around and go that way. We passed on a bunch of people. Sorry, it's all like this. Yeah, it's all up and down for Susano, man. Oh wow. Just <laughs> just go and uh, stairs and uh, little roads. I'm tired now. <laughs> many restaurants, many shops. Amor, and so much of you don't have in the You haven't seen all yet. The beach is up here. No, just down. Oh wow. You have to go down to the beach. We'll try a little bit longer, but then we're done. Oh, my love, I don't think there's anything here. No, I think the centre was back down there. But siamo appena venuti di là. Well, that must be it. Maybe it's just small. Okay. I think we've seen everything. Oh, wow. And besides, I thought that couple from YouTube were going to be here to greet us. Oh. And I yeah. haven't seen them. Yeah, no. I mean, if I'd known they weren't going to be here for us, I wouldn't have bothered coming, would you? No. No? No. Should we go? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yum. So in the beginning of 2008, we went travelling for a few weeks. It was the first and only time we've ever done this. And we did it then because Sky was turning from four to five years old and it was just before she started school so it was the perfect time to go and explore a little bit of the world. We organised it pretty well apart from the last part of it. Now we were travelling down through Thailand by land and we were heading to Kuala Lumpur and we decided to stop off for a couple of nights in Penang in Georgetown and we booked this hotel, we didn't really know anything about it, it was the only place I hadn't really researched and we arrived there late at night, we got into our hotel, the reason I'm telling this by myself is because Carlo has absolutely no memories of this at all, he doesn't remember it. The next day I said oh we'll, we'll get a taxi into town, I think the hotel was a bit far out of Georgetown so we thought we'd get a taxi into town and just go and spend the day there and explore and have a nice time, except when we got in the taxi, Skye used to suffer really badly from car sickness and she started to feel sick and the taxi driver panicked and literally pulled over on the side of the road and threw us out the taxi and drove off. And he left us near a building site and we had to clamber around this building site and we eventually found our way into this um, old market and it was on three or four different floors and it was an enclosed market building. It was very strange um, and, and we couldn't find anything else apart from this market and the building site. We weren't obviously in walking distance of the old town centre and we couldn't get another taxi. We were really stuck. I actually don't remember what happened after that. I don't remember how we got back to the hotel. But then when we got back to the hotel, it was my job to plan the next part of the holiday and I was trying to find a room uh, to stay in Kuala Lumpur and I couldn't find anywhere. It was Valentine's night, Valentine's Day, and I everything was fully booked. And I went into a panic and had a bit of a meltdown in the hotel room, I remember that, um, just because I didn't know what to do. Now luckily we have friends who live in Kuala Lumpur and I called them and they 
let me come and stay at their house and we had the most fabulous time there but uh, I just wanted to point out that we have been those tourists who have arrived in a place not knowing anything about it and had a terrible time and I didn't actually go away thinking oh I'll never go back there I went away thinking what a waste of time I really should have organized that better so that's just a little story to let you know that the skit that we just did was not meant to be offensive, it's just meant to be funny. We've been in that situation ourselves and now when we do plan to go somewhere, I make sure that I do a little bit more, more research and I know what to look for and where to go. All I want is for you to enjoy the video, relax a bit while you're watching it and maybe take away a little bit of useful advice if you come to visit Positano at any point. Uh, that's what I originally was set out to do, was to give advice to people and show people that there was more to Positano than just the main beach and the little alleyways surrounding it. And then people became more interested in our garden and our life and so we started showing a bit more. But my original intention was to help people have a good time when they come and stay here. So I hope that you understand that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't be upset or offended by anything in this video or any of my videos. It's never my intention. Have a lovely week and we will see you next week. Oh, and I'm going to put up a video on Wednesday. It's a little special video that I've made that I made when I was in England and it's featuring my dad. It's called Harry the Jam King. It was really fun making it with him and we've made a couple of others as well. They're his little stories, but the first one has been quite requested. So it's dad going out, picking berries and making jam and showing you how he does it. So that'll be on Wednesday at 5.30 Italian time. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye.